Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading as an energy check in for fire signs. I will do each sign individually. The timestamp will be in the description box. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you. And energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. So if you are new, too many. Please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can hit like, share, and comment, thank you so much for doing that. Everything you need to know about the schedule, I don't know if I said that or not. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box as well. Okay, my dear. I believe this is you, Fire Signs. As they say, this is the story of your life. You started very closed off, not knowing how to love. Or what you are looking for in life. You were trying to explore life by watching, not by living. Because you were afraid. The fire signs that I am connected to in this reading, or connected with, they are very intuitive. This two of swords, closing your heart, was not something based on fear only. Your gut, your intuition told you that be careful, you will get hurt. But I believe you felt very tired from just being, watching life and not living. So you pushed yourself out of your comfort zone and you took the decision that you want to start something in life or explore life with this page of wands. You came and forgive me to say that, and I'm including myself with you, I am a fire sign, very naive towards life. You were very honest, like a small child, believing everything you see and everything you hear. But there was something deep inside you telling you pull yourself away but you didn't listen this is life my dear you will come using the full energy from the beginning as a as a start in life coming with this naive honest energy and these seven of swords that you will deal with in life will teach you how to flip from the page of ones to the king of ones this is experience this is life even if you felt that you will get hurt that was the best decision you take by taking the energy of the page of ones and started life you have to interfere in life, to learn. You cannot stay your life watching, even if you will get hurt. We are on earth for that, for this, to learn, to experience life the way we can in every aspect of life and take all the chances, all the possibilities and by time, you will learn. This page of ones was the best thing happened in your life because it took you all the way till you reached to be the king of ones. While if you stayed here, you will stay here forever. It's okay to get hurt. I'm learning my lesson. I'm learning how to deal with life the right way. I have to start wrong 
to go all the way to know the right and this is what happened in your life these seven of swords energies that came to your life and i believe this came to your life more than once in every aspect and this is the experience of life for every one of us not only fire signs the fire sign that i'm connected with you were brave enough to put your fear aside and start after dealing with these seven of swords you learned how to control yourself and after that how to control your energy you try to control your pain your fear then after that you learned how to show the face of the chariot strong determined then you came from the chariot to the king of wands and i'm feeling the energy of someone is telling him or herself fake it till you make it you had this or tried to show this chariot energy till you learned how to be the king of ones in reality you learned your lessons fire signs and you are strong determined and grounded now is the time to really you experienced life and learn your lesson and now it's a time to enjoy life this is a very beautiful reading for you fire signs i wish i hope that this is for all of you i will start with leo i had the strength and the king of ones let's see Leo, what's going on in your life this is the energy that you're dealing with somebody left my dear and this is you Leo. five of swords tower the knight of cups And this is the outcome. The energy that you're dealing with, or I believe you were dealing with, left. They are trying to find somewhere easier to live. Life in the place where you are or around you was too hard. So they took themselves looking for a place a little bit easier. And I'm, I'm not saying that you were the only reason that this person left, but you are one of the main reasons. I believe this is an ex, my dear. This ex was living around you, or being in each other's life. Maybe you are working with this person or maybe you live together in the same area, same place, same village, I don't know. But you seeing this person around and this person seeing you around was bringing conflict and sadness to both lives. This person left physically and you are now feeling Maybe you won, but you are not happy. I'm not saying, as I told you in the beginning, this person left because of you. You were one of the reasons. There is so many reasons push, pushed this person to leave to a calmer water. Maybe build something new, rebuild themselves. But they are still holding the king of cups energy towards you and that face yourself Leo. when this person left that was a shock for you i believe after this person left you relived everything happened in the past as if it was yesterday 
while in the past you convinced or you were convinced or you were believing that this is done and over. Then when this person disappeared, you left. You felt that this is not done and not over. This person is holding the King of Cups towards you. I believe this person deeply in love with you. For real. Not only attracted to you or holding emotions for they are in love with you you are the love of this person's life and maybe this person realized that when it was too late but this is what this person is feeling right now you are they are holding the the king of cups energy towards you you are I believe what happened here brought something to your heart back. You are feeling something, missing this person, hoping that one day maybe you can relive something with them. But you don't know why suddenly you felt that tower energy and you have that knight of cups in your heart towards this person after you thought for a very long time that this situation ended. Now what I want to tell you, my dear, we, get, we have to admit that this person is sending you energy like hell, trying energetically to keep the connection with you, trying to remind you that they are here. Don't forget about me. This energy is coming to you like crazy. And this is what reopened that past to you. But we have to say something very important. The energy, if someone will send you energy, it will remind you of them for a while. But feeling a tower moment and the, the Knight of Cups, wanting the Knight of Cups, that has only one meaning and you have to face yourself, Leo. You are still in love with this person, like it or not. Because if someone will, like, let's say you were in a relationship with someone and that relationship ended and you are not in love with this person anymore, they will, if they will try to send you energy, maybe they will cross your mind from time to time. But if you will feel this towards them, that means... It's not about crossing the, your mind. That you are in love with this person. And what happened here let you realize that maybe you pressed these feelings down, but they are still there. And you are in love with this person. Let's see the outcome. If you saw the reading before, the one we started with, you are back from the beginning in your life. You went, you went all the way to the King of Wands and you are re-going back to close yourself off, not wanting to see, not wanting to hear, not wanting to involve in life because it's too painful for you. I believe both of you, because this is the outcome of this situation, are closed off. This is energy exchange between you and them. And both of you are closing your eyes with the moon on top here, feeling the energy of each other's. There is a very, very high energetic connection between you and this individual. You are highly connected, highly. I believe both of you are feeling the energy of each other's all the time, as if you are living with each other's, but the other person is living with you, but they are not in front of you. I believe this is a past life situation because a kind of, this kind of energetic connection cannot be something 
small. This is a very high past life situation. Very strong one. Good luck, Leo. I don't know what will happen in this situation. This reading is telling you, my dear, you thought for a very long time that you forgot this person and you are not in love with them anymore. What happened faced you with the reality that you didn't forget and you are still in love with the same person. Like it or not. Sagittarius. Three cards, one outcome. For each, of course. This is the energy that you are dealing with. The King of Wands. The Eight of Swords. Strength. These are two cards from what we had in the beginning. This is you, Sag. The world. The Chariot. The High Priestess. Three cards out of six. From the reading in the beginning. Let's see the outcome. The energy that you are dealing with, Sagittarius, is determined. This king of wands sitting on top here. This person, I feel they are trying obsessively to leave the situation. With this eight of swords and strength, this king of wands is trying everything they can to forget about you. But they cannot. They're trying, but I don't believe they can. They are gathering strength, but they're in the Eight of Swords, like they, they are trapped in this situation. They are trying to leave you behind. I don't know if you are in contact with this person or not. I'm, I'm not feeling that. There is a separation here, a cycle ended between you and this individual. This individual is trying everything they can to drop energetically the situation and leave. But with this Eight of Swords here in the middle, I don't think they are succeeding in this. This person is gathering strength, trying to show a strong face about controlling the situation. But deep inside them... I have to be honest with you, Sagittarius. This person is not doing anything foolish to show you that they are still connected to you because of this strength. But this person is wise. They know they are connected energetically to you. They don't know how to let go of this feeling, but they know that it's not a good idea to fight it. They are accepting. They are surrendering, but they are, how can I say this in a clear way? This person accepting the idea that your energy will stay with them, but they are not planning to do anything about that. Like you will not see any reaction in reality from this person based on their feelings that they are connected to you energetically. This person is accepting and surrendering to the reality and living in peace with the idea that they cannot forget about you, but they are not going to do anything in reality in this situation. From your side, you have the word, the chariot, and the high priestess. You as well are trying to show this person that you don't care, but you do. With this high priestess, you are hiding your feelings this high priestess is talking about two things. You hiding your feelings before this behind this curtain, trying not to show it to anyone, and you feeling that this person is still in love with you. Maybe you don't have a proof, but deep inside you, you believe that this person didn't forget about you. Even though this person is not showing anything to prove to you what you are feeling. But you are feeling this with High Priestess and you almost believe that this is true. Even if you are not seeing from this person anything to prove to you that, but you are feeling their energy. 
and you you almost sure that this person is still in love with you well if you have this feeling this reading is telling you you are right this person is still connected energetically to you and i believe this person is still in love with you but they are surrendering to the idea that this the rea the relationship between you and them is not possible and you will stay in their mind in their heart con energetically connected to them and they are accepting this and keep going in their life they are taking you energetically with them but they are not planning to do anything in, re in reality because this energy is accepting the idea that this between you and them is not possible, at least for the time being. Let's see what's the outcome. Whoa. Whoa. Beautiful. Maybe this situation will not happen today, but I feel it will happen one day. This is the divine timing, my dear. This is the divine timing. Maybe not now. But it seems this connection is not... There is an energetic connection in, with fire signs. The, Leo has almost the same energy. There is somebody in your life you are energetically connected to. And one day maybe you will be with them because of that you cannot let go of this energy because this story didn't finish yet maybe you are in separation right now but this story didn't finish there is something else in here this is not the end this is not the end aries This is you. And this is the energy that you're dealing with. Temperance. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands. This is almost the same energy. This is the theme of fire signs there is somebody for the fire signs that i'm connected with including you aries you are energetically connected to something who is a very strong soulmate of yours you are trying everything you can to let go of this energy trying to start something new in life but you are not able to do that because the connection is stronger than you and what you can do in this lifetime you have the high priestess the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands you are feeling the energy of this person you know that you are connected to them you are fighting very hard to be in this nine of pentacles energy and the hard you fight the harder it will be to be here the more you fight this energy, the more instead of being in the Nine of Pentacles, you will be in the Nine of Wands. You are trying to free yourself from this energy and forget completely about this person, but unfortunately, it's not possible. Or maybe this is fortunate. You never know. This energy is too strong between you and them. You cannot let it go. The more you fight it, the more it will bring pain to your life. Accept, surrender, and keep going. There is a kind of energies in life we cannot ignore. Accept the idea that this energy is with you and you will keep feeling something towards them and they will still stay in your heart maybe for for this lifetime if you will accept this and try to find peace 
with this energy your life will be easier fighting this and trying to kill it and ignore it and get rid of it will make your life harder this energy this relationship is from the type of things that you have to accept that I have to live with this till the rest of my life even if I don't like it it's here I cannot do anything about it it's with me it's in my heart maybe I can ignore it I can press it down but this energy will stay with me this is a very strong soul energy this individual in your mind is in the temperance energy the six of cups and the eight of wands this person is more balanced than you this person is accepting and they don't want to forget about there is this is the difference between you and them you are trying to forget about this situation because of that you are having a hard time you are tired this individual that you're connected with this is a soulmate of yours or the soul connection of yours they don't want to forget about you they want to feel your energy they want to stay with you because of that they are sending you energy and you cannot forget about them even if they will not send you energy maybe the feeling will not be as intense as somebody or and as intense a, as feeling that the other soul is sending you energy it will not be that intense with the without this but it will still be there this person is doing everything they can to make you not forget about them so stop fighting this because it will put you in a very like painful place accept it because it's there like it or not I believe you need to do peace with this energy live with peace with it accept the idea that remembering this individual is part of your life And you will live with this part peacefully. I know I cannot let you go completely, but I will not fight this. I will keep it in a part of my heart and keep going in my life. Nobody knows tomorrow what will happen, but I believe this person is trying not to forget you on purpose and they want you not to forget them. I believe this person maybe has a plan for the future and they don't want to let you go. Let's see the outcome. This is this individual is sending you energy like crazy. There is healing in this situation. This person, I believe, maybe right now in reality they cannot, but on, in the long term this person wants you back. Because of that they don't want you to forget about them. There is healing will happen in this situation. What type of healing, I cannot tell you, I don't know. But there is a healing energy in here for this situation because this is a mutual energy between you and them. Stop fighting, accept, and keep going in your life. Well, this is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading. Thank you a lot for the love and the support. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.